Good evening, my name is Malcolm Noble and I am befreckled to, to offer you two tunes this evening. The first one has a taste of the American South, it's Chuck Berry and You Never Can Tell. It was a t- to that one, sir, stay on your feet because we're going to be finishing with the Velvetettes and Needle in a Haystack. Come on, missus, out of that chair, make some noise with the pots and pans to this one. Stay cool but stay cosy and I'll catch you later. Passionate about some- Needle in a haystack sounds like my bank balance, aren't you? I'll tell you. Dave Berry with you now. Well, I'm going to kick off with this one because the reason is it was one I first heard when I went down to London. It's uh, by a guy called uh, Harry. Well, is it a guy? Well, Harry. It isn't. I nearly said Harry Melvin. No, it's not actually. It's Archie Bell and the Drows. And uh, here I go again. And here I do go again. 102.3 HFM. <laughs> Sat in my house the other day, and I, I put that on, and I, it, it, it was just elevated me. I was, wa- I was walking down the road, and I met somebody who actually they've got a football team called the Bees. Oh, right, good name in it. So every time they win, they can sting a few people. And uh, so I, I, I thought, well, uh, let, let's, 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 let's play a tune for them and, and, and all the fans that support Bees because I'm very into local football and that sort of thing. And three, three uh, uh, tracks for this. Three people did this. Um, Willie Nelson. And then along came Elvis Presley. Oh, we might have done that before that. And then along came the Pet Shop Boys. And I'm not playing it because I'm from the north. I'm playing it because it's a great tune. Always on my mind. This is HFM. Passionate about all things local. <laughs> And that was the pet, po- pet Shop Boys, always on my mind. And as you'll have guessed, it's been a change of um, person again, and it's Aunt Sally on the other end of the microphone. And I'm going to be playing What Becomes of the Broken Hearted by Jimmy Ruffian, which I always remember from my school days when some, the last day of school somebody actually wrote it on the blackboards as we all came away, so it has some very good memories. So here we go. And that was Jimmy Ruffian. And what could be better than when you like Tom Jones and you like the stereophonics and they both come together with one of your favourite songs from your younger days. So here we go with Tom Jones and the stereophonics and Mama Told Me Not To Come. HFM. Well, Dash McWigan called me Susan. The lunatics have well and truly taken over the asylum. This is me, Will Norton, with you for the next uh, ten minutes or so, something like that. Uh, Let's kick off, shall we, with the small faces from 1967. Yes, the unmistakable voice of uh, Stevie Marriott with the small faces there. Classic from 67. Um, We've had a great three weeks here uh, loading the ropes and what have you, and we've had lots of tips and advice and, uh, you know, some really good stuff that will stand us in great stead in later life, hopefully. Uh, Best one I remember, though, at the moment was... uh, First week we'll hear, uh, Chris Jones said to us, when you go in the studio, uh, sit yourself down, breathe out... (sighs) They are and relax. I thought, yeah, that's really good, that. But then my stupid mind started thinking, and I remembered that uh, Black Adder episode where he's got the two thespians with him, and uh, they're trying to teach Prince George how to present and project. So they were saying, hands on hips, tr- legs spread wide, and roar! So I thought, yeah, I think I'm a bit more of a roarer. When we say... Now you've got Benedict Elliott on your airwaves, and I'm the only one here who hasn't got a bus pass, so I'm going to give an interesting uh, little perspective on things. This new guy um, we've got is an older version of that funky vibe. We're going to have Curtis Mayfield helping you to move on up. I've just had young Scarlett looking in the window. She's giving me on the airways later speaking to you all and proving me completely wrong. And this next song, which is sure to make you feel good, is more from her era than my own. It's Pharrell Williams with Happy. (laughs) 
Thank you, Benedict, and happy, happy, happy. But what's this about bus passes? Well, I will admit I do have a senior rail card, so you perhaps got me there. I'm DJ Burble, also known as Chris Caulfield. Now, the next record is actually by the, a band, and it was they were the first record I ever bought, and it was a cassette. Um, the, actually, the band were called Free, and I thought, oh, surely the it would be free to buy, but it wasn't. I had to pay money for it. Anyway, let's hear it. It was all right then. It was number two in the charts in, in the early 70s, and it's all right now. So, the rather expensive free there with all right now. Um, this is the voice of DJ Burble, still burbling along. Now... Quite soon, I'm going to be fading out just into a small cloud of dust. But not just yet. Um, now, let's get away from burbling voices. Actually, I like instrumentals. And uh, even uh, classical music. Ooh. But don't worry, don't worry, everybody. The next one is pop. Right? It's instrumental-ish. It's uh, Day OG, two northern lads, and it's uh, it played at my wedding, and it's sunshine. On FM.